Sorry, it's no leaf I'm sorry. Oh, see, it hurts her. I'm so sorry. Mine! You are mine. Well, hello. Welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. I'm Chrissy. And today we are going to be talking about goat vaccinations and just general health of goats and what I do here on the ranch to keep them happy and healthy. Here are just a few things that I keep in my goat health kit. And don't worry, you don't need to write it down. I'm going to list all the affiliate links down below in the description. Of course, syringes and needles, ivermectin and valbazin, copperbolus. This goes in the refrigerator, but this is CD&T. We keep Power Punch, just in case they need a little bit of extra pick-me-up. We keep colostrum in case we have baby kids and they can't get colostrum from their mama. And then we keep good electrolytes. This is just my little kit. Keep alcohol, cotton balls, just all the extra stuff. Some vitamin E. And I also keep this in here for kids. After they're born, I always give them whatever the dose is for um, selenium vitamin E deficiency. I, in the recent past, had acquired some goats that were already bred and I got them at the very end of their pregnancy and each of them had twins. There were three um, different large dairy goats and all three of them I lost all the babies and I strongly feel it was because they were selenium deficient. So today I'm going to measure my goats to get their proper weight. On the Evermectin you have to be pretty precise on the weight. All right, let me explain some of these vaccines to you. Ivermectin is a wormer. That is what it looks like. Most people get ivermectin and it looks like this. I um, chose to get the, a bigger bottle. I'm not sure how clear that is. I chose to get a bigger bottle that um, was a little less expensive. I think it was only a dollar or two cheaper, but hey, every dollar counts. So what ivermectin does, it protects against barber pole worms, stomach worms, thread worms, and lice. I also heard that it protects against mites as well. So we're going to be giving each goat some ivermectin today, only if their FAMANCHA score is not good. And if you don't know what a FAMANCHA score is, it's when you look at the eyelids, the inner eyelids, top and bottom of your goat, and you see how pink it is. It should be really a deep reddish pink color. Um, if it's a lighter pink or even close to a white, then that definitely means that they're wormy and you're going to need to worm them. So ivermectin is a choice that lots of people use. I'm using it today just in case I do have bred does that are pregnant. That's the only reason I'm using this. I generally don't use ivermectin. I generally use valbazin. Valbazin, um, I talked to a vet whenever I took one of my goats there and she just said that Oklahoma, ivermectin doesn't really work, that I should try to use valbazin. So as you see, I've got a humongous bottle of it and this is generally what I use. But um, like I said, I do think I have some does that are pregnant. So we're gonna use ivermectin for any of the goats that's FAMANCHA scores are low. Another thing that I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give each goat copper bolus. So for goats, there is not enough copper in their feed or anything that grows from the ground that they eat. So what you do is you give them copper bolus. So what it is, I don't know if you can see, let's see. Is that better? It is just this little pill and it has these little tiny sticks in it of copper and it's in a gel cap. And what you do is you just put this down the throat of the goat. Sometimes I try to spit it out. Sometimes they chew it up as long as they get it. Some people have done videos where you can hide them in like fruit roll-ups or bananas, things like that. But I'm just going to put it down their throat, give them a nice little rub, hold their mouth closed. So these last eight months. And I use the, I use the Ultra Cruise Copper Bolus. Ivermectin protects against all the worms that we just discussed, and it is one cc per 50 pounds. So you do have to measure your animal. Today I'm gonna do their heart girth times heart girth times length divided by 300. And that'll give me what their weight is almost exactly. And that's the only way I could do it. I do not have a big scale um, like lots of farmers do because I'm not into production livestock. So as far as the ivermectin, this is used for cattle and swine and it is an injectable. But when you use it on the goats, they have a higher metabolism. We use this orally. 1 cc per 50 pounds and you could do your measurements and get the exact weight of your animals. And then that will give you um, how many mLs that you should give them. 
The next vaccine that I am going to give my goats, and we'll talk about dosage and age. This is for goats. It is once a year or for kids. Now, if the kid's mother was vaccinated within a month of them being born, then the kid does not need to be vaccinated again until they're three or four weeks old. And then you follow it up in another three to four weeks with a second vaccine. The dose on this vaccine is two mLs, no matter what size of goat. Two mLs once a year. Now, if it's an unknown goat, you don't know its vaccine history and you acquire it while it's pregnant, the baby most likely is not gonna have any immunities to CDNT. So at that point, between seven and 21 days old, you would give a kid two mLs of the CDNT. So CDNT is for Clostridial bacteria, which is found in the soil. So that's what the C is for. And the D is also for the Clostridial, but what it is, it's called enterotoxemia, which happens whenever the Clostridium bacteria in their bellies get so out of control because of their diet that they start to overeat. The bacteria is overgrown in their stomach and they will almost always certainly get bloat and die. Sometimes it's sudden death, sometimes it's within four hours. Most of the time you don't know when it's going to happen. So that's what the D is for. The T is for tetanus toxoid and we should all know what tetanus is. If they get a wound, somehow scrape it on barbed wire, on a, on a tree, on a stick, on a rock, and it becomes infected, they can get tetanus, which is locked jaw and essentially they will die as well. So this is a have to for all goats once a year. This is going to be given by sub Q. We're gonna use a one inch needle. It calls for an 18 to 20 gauge. I'm gonna do a 20 gauge. I know it's just a little bit smaller. I really hate giving my goats vaccines, but I've gotta do it. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is if I think that any of my goats are pregnant and also as soon as they have babies, the selenium with vitamin E. I'm gonna give all the mothers that I think are about to have babies some selenium. Hopefully it'll get in their system, pass along to their baby. And I don't think we have a problem with the feed that I give them. They have loose minerals, but I still wanna go ahead and give this to them so they can pass it along to their kids. I've showed you all my supplies. The next thing I've gotta do is measure. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna set up the tripod and try to maybe on the first or second kind of go step by step and explain it to you. However, I think I'm gonna to have to put it on a time lapse to get them all done because there are so many goats out here. So let's get started. So now I have to gather all the goats. So watch this. So generally there is a little method to my madness. So I was able to get them in here where they go night night. I was able to get them in there. And then I was able to feed some of them over here. And they're eating. And all that's left is some babies. There's two babies out. And then two black ones, which one of them's right here. And this will make it so much easy that I can grab one at a time. It's gonna be perfect. So first, we're gonna get some alcohol. We're going to take the Ivermec. We're gonna open it up, shake it really good. Gonna clean that off. We're gonna take the CD&T, gonna clean that off. So this one is two cc's or ml. One ml is the same as one cc. So this is two cc's for any size or age or type of goat. Take your clean syringe and your clean needle. And I've already cleaned it. So you drop two cc's to keep even air pressure in there and you put it in there. And 
And then you draw up, let me see here, right at two cc's. Take that off. You never recap a needle um, in the medical field. You always put it, I don't know if you can see it. You put it down and then you recap it this way. Um, however, since it's for my goats and I'm gonna be recapping a lot, I will use both hands because it, it's a sterile needle. If I accidentally touch it, I will get a new needle for them. So here is the CD and T. We're gonna do ivermectin and we're gonna do copper bolus. Copper bolus. Now we need to pick a goat and go right <laughs> See what happens when I try. So let's do Snickers. Let's do her measurement. And I could do her up here, like so. So I hope you can see this. This is not intended, but she's so little. Let's just let's just try this. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna do her heart girth. So imagine where their heart is, which is right behind, right behind her foot legs. So we're gonna measure her around. I do not have a soft, so this is as soft as I can get it. So we're gonna measure right underneath, right here. And I am getting 16 inches. The next is gonna be from the front of her all the way to her pin bone. So we got 16 on the heart girth. So we're gonna take it from her front shoulder right here. I'm gonna go all the way to that pin bone, which is right here. I can feel it. it's right there. So I'm gonna take it all the way to right there. And that is 13. We took her heart girth, which was 16, times her heart girth, which is 16, times her shoulder to pin bone, which was 13. And we got, I believe it's 3,300 something. And then you divide that by 300. So her weight is 11.09 for Miss Sweet little Snickers, my little Snickers bar. So she's 11 pounds. Ivermectin is one cc or one ml, the same thing, per 50 pounds. So she's only get one fifth of a cc. Look, one, two, three, four, five. So there's five lines to one cc. She's gonna get 20% of one cc. So she is gonna get up to this very first line. I got a syringe and it's gonna be the tiniest amount. I'm gonna draw it up. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna draw up just point, just to the very, very, very first one on her. And then I'm going to remove the needle. And this is given oral, so I'm gonna, yeah, you tune your cud? You tune your cud? I'm gonna adjust this a little bit, see if we can get sweet Snickers a little bit better here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna place it on the inside of her mouth, just between her, right by her jaw between her teeth and her cheekbones. So I don't want it to go down the wrong pipe. So look, we're gonna, we're gonna get in there. Yes, right there. Come on, baby. This is so fun. <laughs> you know, if she lets me do it. Snickers, Snickers. Okay, we'll go on the other side then. Hold on, not yet. Okay, okay, I'm right between her tooth and <laughs> she's trying to chew on. Okay, I just squirted that little bit. So Snickers has been vaccinated. You've been vaccinated. So that was her wormer. See her, I don't know if you could see her eye color, but she's got a very nice pink upper and lower lid. But I'm not sure if her mother was vaccinated before she was born. So I just gave her her first warmer and now she's gonna get her first CDT. So generally, I like to give them their shots right here. Very um, loose piece of skin right here, but I know a lot of people that actually do it right behind in this very loose piece. So I think that's what we're gonna do today situation because I'm by myself. I know you don't want a shot, but you don't want a shot. I know. So she gets two cc's of the CD and T. I'm going to take this off. No. Got goat hair in my mouth. I'm going to hold her. It's going to hurt. I'm going to grab that piece. Parallel to her skin. I'm going to 
put this in and I'm gonna I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's really I'm sorry. Oh see it hurts her. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, you want ma? I know. Did you want ma? I know. Okay, one more thing for sweet little Snickers. I know. One more. I know. I know. She's copper bullets. Oh, she's gonna hate me now. Oh, I know, baby. So the next thing is she's gonna get her copper bullets, and I am gonna put this on the side of her inside tooth. I'm gonna actually push it down just like you would do on a puppy or a dog when you're giving the medicine. I'm gonna put it on the inside of her tooth. I'm gonna push it down into her throat. She's not gonna like it. And then I'm gonna close her mouth a little bit nice and gently. Yes, you just burped on me. That's so good. And then I'm gonna um, try to massage her throat. So here goes. You want this? Come on. Let's just get it done. Let me feel where I am. I am. Okay. No, let's not chew it. Oh, you wanna chew it? Okay. You wanna chew it? Oh. You got most of them. Yep. Well, she decided to chew it, and I've got copper bolus on my fingers, which is fine because she got most of it. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Were you a good model? Was she a good model, you guys? Snickers, were you a good model? You are so roly poly. Okay, so I'm going to put Snickers down. She is all vaccinated and wormed. Now we have to get our next victim. How was that in slow-mo? <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? Okay, I think I'm halfway done. They escaped where I locked them up at, and I was able to kind of poke some of them in again, and I'm feeding them, but it's getting dark and it's getting cold. Like, my nose is running, and my knees have been horned a lot, and I've got blood on my hand from one of the babies that, um, was bleeding where the shot was so that was not very fun but half of them have had all their vaccines copper cdnt and also worm half of them were not wormed because their famacha scores were beautiful like beautiful and of course that would be the two picos that i did i have not done my uh i have not done my new zealand yet but of course he never gets wormed because he's just 
got beautiful financial scores. The babies got done as well. Snickers, one of the twins. So everybody's happy. We'll do the rest of the half tomorrow, but that's it for today's video. Thank you so much. If you haven't already and you like our content, please hit subscribe. When you get a chance, hit the little dingle bell. It'll alert you anytime that we upload a new video. And thank you so much for joining us on the homestead today. Bye-bye. Thank you.